Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion YJ here and today I want to go ahead and take a look at Snake Rain because this card is crazy once again guys. I don't know if you guys remember when Og Ogdoatic, Oag Oag the Oagdoatic, the, the reptile deck that came out like, uh, I forgot if it was like a year or two years ago, whatever it might be. This card Snake Rain was absolutely through the roof in price as far as it goes. I don't believe it got a reprint or maybe it did. I don't know. I haven't kept up with this card. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. But Snake Snake Rain is easily one of the craziest cards ever printed for a specific type of card, right? You have Reinforcement of the Army for Warriors, you have Snake Rain in a similar fashion, similar fashion, not the exact same thing, for Reptiles. Reptiles, guys, this is crazy, absolutely wild what this card can actually go ahead and do. It's a very simple line of text, very simple, line, and those are the scarier cards. Snake Rain is a very simple card, very easy to understand, and very easy to digest, all it says Discard one card, send four reptile monsters from your deck to the graveyard. Now normally if this were against for, for any other type, whether it be fairy or uh, warriors or anything like that, this deck, this card would actually probably be either limited or banned, but because it's reptiles, and reptiles haven't been relevant ever, this makes this card really really good right now, especially with the Rika strategy coming out here very, very soon guys We want to go ahead and we are prepared for it because Rika locks you into I believe it's insects plants and reptiles specifically So we are going to take advantage of that law or we're going to take advantage of that beautifully crafted design by Konami We'll see which one that is and we're going to go ahead and mix the two into probably going to be the best decks of this upcoming format We're going to go ahead and proceed here on here guys So I want to show you guys a quick combo what you guys can do with just snake grain and any other discard in your hand this is a regular 1.5 card combo for you guys let's get into it so we're gonna go ahead and activate the snake grain snake grains effects so obviously discard a card we're gonna go ahead and discard imperm the four cards you are gonna want to send from your deck to the gy are as follows uh, and unfortunately snake grain does not say you can send from your deck and or hand in case you happen to draw like the one of like the curse dawn of the abyss is going to be a one of essentially if you want i think you can play two i really just uh, threw a deck together it's not like any uh type of crazy i will show you guys the deck list at the end of the video if you guys are interested more or less how to go ahead and build the very basis of it but you guys can definitely go ahead and improve on it right so you're going to go ahead and send one curse uh, dawn of the abyss one night sword serpent and you're also going to be sending out um the nihil and the null drag of the abyss so these are actually going to be really really essential because all these have amazing synergy together which i'm going to show you guys right now so far the combo is pretty linear and straightforward it doesn't deviate too far from the path which i really do enjoy um because me i'm not too much a big brain guy okay i like the unga bunga Yu -Gi -Oh, okay easy speezy so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and activate the Night Sword Serpent effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, uh, you special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna go ahead and take full advantage of that now because now we have a reptile on the board. We can actually go ahead and activate Curse's effect to send it off and then special summon this one from your graveyard. And then we're gonna go ahead and if you special summon this card, then you can special summon one monster from your graveyard, but your opponent can special summon again. But because we're going first, your opponent doesn't special summon jack shit. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it rolling, guys. We're gonna go ahead and summon out our copy of Nihil. Now it's very important that we special summon out Nihil because Nihil is gonna be able to go ahead and search out an Og Ogdoatic spell trap, but more importantly, because Null special summons itself from the graveyard as well. So there's really no need to go ahead and summon Null, we can summon Nihil, if that makes sense. So, we're gonna go ahead and keep rolling guys, keep going, press the play button, uh, we're gonna search one of the craziest cards in this deck, uh, not named Snake Rain, because Snake Rain is of course the big starter for this, Ogdoatic Daybreak, which is actually not that old a card, which it blows my mind that this complete went under everyone's radar, but Ogdoatic Daybreak is a crazy card, it says tribute one reptile monster for every two levels that tributed monster had on the field, special summon one Ogdoatic token, uh, blah blah blah, stats, 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 zero, zero attack, zero defense. During your main phase, you can banish card from the graveyard, target one of your banished reptile monsters, shuffle into the deck, and send another reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard. So we're going to activate that second effect here shortly because we do have a banished thing to Night Sword Serpent effects. 
But before we go ahead and do that, guys, because we will be tributing off the Cursed Dawn of the Abyss in order to activate the Ogdoadic uh, Daybreak, we want to go ahead and make some room over here. So right now we're a little bit full. So what we're going to go ahead and end up doing, we're going to go ahead and make King of the Feral Imps, which is a very old card at this point, probably five, six years old at this point, to be honest. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate the effect to search one of the oldest cards, ugliest cards ever printed in Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's not an understatement. This card is hideous. I had it. I lost it. I really wish I didn't lose it because this card's probably bred right now, but it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and search out the Serpentine Princess, guys. This card is super wild. So this, this is an old card that no Konami never thought would see the light of day. This card, the way it was printed, the effect, it just got awful, right? But not in this deck. So this card says, if this face-up card is returned from the field to the deck for whatever reason, special summon one level 3 or lower monster from your deck to decide to feel any level 3 or lower monster from your deck to your field, then shuffle your deck, which is really nice to add that line of text in the end, right? So we're going to go ahead and have Serpentine Princess in our hands. Now we have the space to go ahead and activate the Ogdoatic Daybreak. Let me not get too far ahead of myself. We're going to go ahead and activate that. Tribute, especially some of the four tokens, of course. We're going to go ahead and have free advantage. It's like activating Scapegoat on your own turn, and then you can still special summon while having activated Scapegoat, which is crazy. So we're going to go ahead and link these three guys, including the Feral M2, make our copy of Cosmic Slicer Z Roll, Z or Zer Ol, however you guys want to pronounce it, it's perfectly fine, we're not here to judge, but we're going to go ahead and get this guy out because this guy is going to get us any card from our deck to hand that specifically places a counter, so a and I understand how you guys feel, a counters are weird, aliens kind of suck, but not again, not in this deck, you gotta get, gotta get out of the mindset that these cards are trash, this deck is crazy right now, because we can take so much advantage of the link summoning in this deck, and it's gonna be super super wild, now, we're gonna go ahead and search out the planet pollutant virus, now planet pollutant virus, again, I have no, absolutely no idea when this card came out, <laughs> but this card says tribute one alien monster. Cool. Uh, destroy all face-up monsters without a counter to your opponent controls, which is nice, but we're using it for the second effect. Until the end of your opponent's third turn after this card's activation, place one A counter on each monster they summon. Now that is important because A counters vote well with Cosmic Slicer because this guy says uh, where's the... It, this card says, your monsters your opponent controls with a counters are changed to defense position. Also, neither player can activate their effects. So, pretty much, it's like skill drain for all your opponent's monsters. And on top of being a Fluandry's M-Pen, which is crazy to think about because you're not getting beat over by a battle. And this lasts for three turns, guys. Three turns, every monster your opponent summons is going to go ahead and get this effect. So if they don't have any way to go ahead and get around this guy, you are in deep doo doos right? So we're going to go ahead and just, that's going to be the end goal, right? We got to get there first, right? Because we're not going to tribute out the Cosmic Slicer. It's not an alien monster. So what we had to do is summon Alien Shock Trooper. I believe that's the name of the card, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get there. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it rolling here, guys. We're gonna link these two to summon our first Rika card of the entire combo, uh, but a really good one, of course, Rika no Musha Dokuru. So lets you target any Rika monster in your graveyard and special summon. Now currently we don't have any, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that right away because we are gonna activate the Ogdoatic Daybreak, shuffle back to Night Sword Serpent, and send out the other Rika card from our main deck, Rika no Yore Tagai. Taga Takage, I almost got through that one. It does serve its purpose. So we're gonna special summon this out. It serves as a great link fodder material to go ahead and summon out our link three, Raika Ogumu Og Ogaminushi. <laughs> These are gonna well, oh, Konami makes the names the hardest thing to say, I swear. So this is really cool because it lets us search a Raika spell trap. Um or Rika, Rika traps, my apologies. You just have to banish two reptile monsters. We're gonna to go ahead and do just that. Uh, banish the Pharaoh Imp and banish the other Rika. It's let's just get Rika Darin, whatever that last name is. So this card is actually really, really good interruption. Plus, of course, it's searchable. So these two are, are going to be one ofs. Um, but the Rika trap is really good because you get to target cards you have put in controls cards, not just monsters. You have put controls up to the number of plant, insect, reptile, link monsters you control with different types. 
destroy them. And if I face up uh, insect, blah 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 blah, destroy by battle card effect while this card's in your graveyard. Except turn within this turn, you can banish this card, target one of your opponent, um, uh, monster your opponent controls, and destroy it. So it has so much interruption built into just this one card. It is actually really really crazy what the overall <coughs> all of the effects can actually go ahead and do for you. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it rolling, guys. Now that we already gotten that far, we're gonna normal summon out our Serpentine Princess because this has no effect on the field. However, of course, like I told you guys earlier, this when I shuffle back into the deck, it gains really, really good effects. So go ahead and special summon any, any level three monster from your deck. So we're gonna go activate Raika, Nomusha, Dokuru to send this card from our field to the deck and then send I mean, a special summon any level three or lower monster from our decks. So we're gonna go ahead and summon out our copy of the Raika Marikube, which is the, I guess, main starter more or less for the strategy. And we're gonna go ahead and search out our copy of the continuous spell. Uh, of course, we do have to go ahead and banish it. We go ahead and start, uh, banish the uh, Kamiiri because we searched the Kamiiri and the continuous spell. Continuous spell is really good. Let's just special summon any Raika monster that is banished or also add Raika monster from the deck to your hand. Each and every single turn so really really good recursion there right recursion consistency overall super super good we're gonna go ahead and activate this guy after summoning out link summoning out our uh, red girl we're gonna call her red girl because i'm not pronouncing that 100 gonna butcher it and then we're gonna go ahead and keep it rolling here guys so we're gonna go ahead and activate the effect of the continuous spell to go ahead and especially back out our insect monster <laughs> our cockroach guy so we're going to go ahead and link these guys off into our Link 5 Raika no Dayuga. So this guy is really good because it lets you go ahead and pop two monsters on the field. If a monster is special summon from your opponent's deck or extra deck. So if your opponent tries to do anything fancy shenanigans, you just pop two monsters they control and it's great interruption right off the bat. Plus your end board is going to consist of the this guy and this guy. So it means you're going to have a reptile and an insect monster for your uh, Raika trap card to go ahead and pop two. So we're going to keep it going guys. We're gonna just go ahead and special summon out our copy of the uh, Null. So we wanna go ahead and special summon Null specifically because it is a reptile monster and that's exactly what we are going to need. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, activate the Red Girl's effect, shuffle back the other link that we had here, the link two. And now we have two reptiles on the field, which means we can go into the Alien Shock Trooper M frame directly from our extra deck, guys. So now we have the Alien monster. So all we gotta do now is just set two and pass. So the second our opponent does whatever they want to go ahead and do we're gonna hit play draw face go ahead and tribute off the alien m and now each and every single monster they control will be, have its effect negated turn to defense position we also have the pop two from this uh we also have the Rika, which is going to get us another additional pop two and no very very few decks are going to be able to pop go past having no monster effects on the field uh, having everything in defense position and in addition having to deal with four cards popped on the field so overall it has a lot of interruption a lot of potential in this deck i'm just not going to be the one to show you guys the full template of it right yet but a really really cool combo that you guys can definitely go ahead and pick up it's not overly complicated which again i really really like it's pretty pretty linear just do it once or twice you should be able to go ahead and get the hang of it so now we're done with the combo guys i'm gonna show you guys a quick deck list so here we are guys for our deck list for the Rika oagnik the extra deck needs a lot of help this is definitely not a final product but i get i want to to show you guys what the deck more or less is supposed to look like at least in my eyes for the main deck it's pretty figured out when it comes to the extra deck of course there's a lot of room to be desired when it comes to this i just slapped a whole bunch of right cards in here and like the few cards that i needed but for the main deck guys you're gonna play one uh, abyss one nephibis one curse uh one serpentine princess one reptilian quaddle uh two of the night sword serpent two of the raika no yori uh three of the neil three of the null one of the insect cockroach three ash uh, three of the Raika Marikube, uh, one for one, three snake rain, travel tactics, talents, two thrust to search the snake rain. You could pr probably play three thrust just to make sure you're able to get the snake rain because snake rain, I did not mention this earlier, is not once per turn. So you can actually go ahead and activate three of these in the turn and you're good to go. One gets ashed, no problem. You activate another one and you're good to go, uh, which is crazy to think about. You activate, it gets ashed, you activate thrust, search another one, activate it again. <laughs> That's so really, really cool, guys. Uh, we have, of course, Call by the Grave, two Oagnic Daybreak. I really want to go ahead and try to play three, but two is just fine, guys. Three of the Rika Continuous Spell. I'm not going to pronounce that. 
three imperm, one virus, and then one copy of the Raika Trap. Uh, for the uh, links, you play, of course, three of the Dakuru, one M frame, three of the Link 3, uh, three of this other Link 3. I did not think this one all that way through, guys, <laughs> when it comes to the extra deck. Like I said, when it comes to the extra deck, it, it, I haven't figured it out just yet, but just, just, just bear with me, right? So... That's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the combo tutorial. Honestly, what do you guys think of the Oagdic version, Ogdoadic version, I should say, of the Raikou deck? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Is there a better version to go ahead and play this? Is it better with Trap Tricks? Let me know. I might check it out, honestly, because that sounds pretty fire. But without further ado, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.